All right, every year a deserving author receives the ANV Zero Award for Young Readers Literature. This year it's Rita Williams Garcia. Yeah, that's right. Erin is with her this morning at Jinx East Intermediate where she's speaking with students. Good morning, Erin. That's right, and what a great opportunity for these students to really meet one-on-one -on -one and talk to somebody about a book that they've been studying. Vanessa, a sixth grader here, finished One Crazy Summer. What did you think? What was your favorite part about the book? Well, my favorite part was when uh, the, the Back Panthers helped everybody. Yeah, and is it pretty exciting to be able to speak with the author? And what would you like to ask her? Uh, well, how does it feel to be an African-American and like, were you, did you do, did you like uh, deal with racism? Okay, very good question. Well, um, it feels very special to be an African American, and um, and I think it's because I have dealt with racism that I wanted to write one crazy summer, and kind of share some of those experiences from my own personal experience, but from what I've seen with others. All right, Vanessa, go ahead. And thank you so much. I'm sure this is so exciting for Vanessa and all the rest of the sixth graders. Thank you so much for joining us today. How does it, what, how does it feel to be able to be recognized for your work in this manner? Oh my goodness, it is tremendous. Um, just to know that there are so many hands that are holding my book and reading my story and connecting with it, it's larger than I ever realized. Kids always shock me. I mean, she really went for the, the tough one right off the top there with her questioning, right? Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> well, that's what we want. We want readers to be thinkers and to really get involved with what they're reading. It's how we know we've done our job. Your first published piece highlights magazine when you were 14 years old and a lot of the themes of your book re books really center around not giving up and having that drive I've already heard you talk to the kids about that already this morning oh yeah I, I began early and there was no one to tell me no so I just kept pushing just kept trying and so and here I am in front of you all so uh, that's that's just what I want to tell kids to live in their dreams and to keep pursuing them and I think a big thing that we're really focusing on nowadays is making sure that reading is fun and enjoying it and the stories are engaging and you all were doing some sort of chicken dance a minute ago uh, yes we were we were bringing back the funky chicken um, a little cardio in the morning that's right yeah get their blood flowing right so this is just an opportunity to do a question and answer with you yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, it's one of the things that um, authors can't go to all of the schools, but you try to get to as many as you can and to visit the students because they have read your book, and, and so you want to share it with them and, and reward them and also reward yourself. Yeah, and One Crazy Summer, one of your, your, more, your New York Times bestselling author, what's the main message that you hope these kids get out of that book? I think um, to not be afraid of history and to find yourself in it um, and to and to learn more and to know that kids were a part of history. They weren't just bystanders. They were involved. Rita Williams Garcia, thank you so much and congratulations on your success and your award, which will be presented tonight. And you have all the details back in the studio, guys. <laughs> yeah, we certainly yeah. do, Aaron. Thank Absolutely you. incredible. And you love it when an author can get kids that excited about reading. Absolutely. Yeah, Must have cool. been tie dye day there at sure. school. I and love tie -dye it. Shirts. All right. <laughs> Rita Williams Garcia, she is the recipient of the Ann V. Zero Award. That presentation is happening tonight at 7 p.m. at Con Cove at the Hardesty Regional Library. They're located at 8316 East 93rd Street. If you uh, want to check out the Tulsa Library, you can. Tulsa Library.org.